Good day and welcome to today's class. Today's class is a continuation of our previous classes on percentages. In today's class, we shall be looking at how to change percentages to fractions and to decimals. At the previous class, we have looked at how to convert fractions and decimals to percentages. In today's class, we shall be looking at changing percentages back to fractions and decimals. So we shall first of all look at how to change percentages to fractions. To change a percentage to a fraction, we express the percentage as a fraction with 100 as denominator and reduce the fraction to its lowest term. Already we have defined percentage as a fraction with 100 as its denominator. Example 1 says we should change 25% to fraction. 25% ordinarily, like we have said in the previous class, means 25 over 100. So in order for you to change this to a fraction, all you need to do is to divide 25 by 100 and then reduce it to its lowest term. So this is said to be solution. 25% is equal to 25 divided by 100. This has been expressed as a fraction. All you need to do now is to reduce this fraction to its lowest term. It is advisable that when solving mathematics, you always leave your answers in the simplest expression. So I'm going to look for a factor that can divide 25 and 100. And 5 is the least factor. So 5 into 25 is 5. 5 into 100 is 20. This is equal to 5 divided by 20. But something can still go. There is a factor that can still divide. 5 can still divide. 5 into itself is 1. 5 into 20 is 4. So 25% as a fraction is said to be equal to 1 over 4. You can refer to this as 1 quarter. Let's take another example. Example 2 that we are to change 60% to a fraction. And just like we did in the previous example, 60% is said to be equal to 60 divided by 100. All you need to do now is to reduce it to its lowest term. I know that 10 can divide 60 and 100, giving me 6 over 10. And I can still reduce 6 over 10 to its lowest term by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by a common factor, which is 2. 2 into 6 is 3, 2 into 10 is 5. So 6% is equivalent to 3 over 5 as fraction. Kindly like my videos as you watch. While well, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so. Also turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. You can also use the comment section to interact with me on areas that are still difficult for you to understand. You also advise to share the links with your friends and families so that they can also benefit from our daily classes. We shall now take exercises on changing percentages to fractions. Exercises on changing percentages to fractions. We are asked to change to fractions in its lowest term. So you have two steps to take in changing this to fractions. All you need to do is to express 5% as a ratio of 5 over 100 and then reduce it to its lowest term. So this is equal to 5 divided by 100. Once you have gotten to this stage, you then look for a factor that can divide 5 and 100. For you know that 5 can divide both itself and 100. So 5 into itself is 1. 5 into 10 is 2. 5 into 0 is 0. So 5% is equivalent to 1 over 20. Example 2, 10%. 10% is equal to 10 divided by 100, and 10 can divide both itself and 100, leaving us with 1 divided by 10. So 10% is said to be 1 over 10. Question 3, we have 20%. 20% is equal to 20 divided by 100, and 10 can divide, giving us 2 over 10. 2 can still divide into itself and 10, leaving us with 1 over 5. 
So 20% is equivalent to 1 over 5. 45% is equal to 45 divided by 100. 5 can divide both 45 and 100. 5 into 45 is 9 times. And 5 into 100 is 20, giving us 9 over 20. Now there's no common factor between 9 and 20, so this is our final expression. Question 5, 65% is equal to 65 divided by 100. 5 can divide. 5 into 6 is 1, remainder 1. This becomes 15. 5 into 15 is 3. Divide by 5 into 10 is 2, into 0 is 0. There is no common factor between 13 and 20, so this is your answer. Question 6, 80% is equal to 80 divided by 100, 10 can divide, giving us 8 over 10, 2 can still divide, 2 into 8 is 4, 2 into 10 is 5, and there is no other factor that can divide 5 over 5, 4 over 5, and so this is your answer. Question 7, we have 25%, 25% is equivalent to 25 divided by 100, reducing it to its lowest term. 25 can go. 25 into itself is 1. 25 into 100 is 4. This is equivalent to 1 over 4. 36% is equal to 36 divided by 100. And what can divide? You can use the simplest. 2 can divide. 2 into 3 is 1 remainder 1. This becomes 16. 2 into 16 is 8 divided by 2 into 10 is 2. 2 into 0 is 0. Something can still divide 18 and 20. 2 can go. 2 into 18 is 9. 2 into 10. 2 into 20 is 10. So our answer is said to be 9 divided by 10. And there's no other factor that can divide 9 over 10. 2% is equal to 2 divided by 100. And 2 can divide both itself and 100. Leaving us with 1 over 50. As our answer, question 10, 60% is equal to 60 divided by 100, which is equal to 10 can divide 6 over 10, and 2 can also divide 3 and 5. So our answer is said to be 3 over 5. Question 11, 33% is equal to 33 divided by 100. There is no common factor that can divide 33 and 100, so this is its lowest term. I'm going to leave question number 12 for you to solve as an exercise. All you need to do is to express it as a fraction and then reduce it to its lowest term. Can you like our videos as you watch? Well, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so. Also, turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. You can also use the comment section to interact with me on areas that are still difficult for you to understand. You can also share the link with your friends and families so that they can also benefit from our daily classes. We shall now take more examples on complex percentages being converted to fractions. Example 3, we are asked to change 15% to a fraction. And just like I said, 15% is equal to 50%, sorry, is equal to 50 divided by 100, which is equal to 10 will cancel. 5 into itself is 1. 5 into 10 is 2. That is equal to 1 over 2 or a half. Example 4, we are asked to change A, 30% to a fraction. 30%, like we all know, is said to be equal to 30 divided by 100. And if 10 is to divide, it gives you 3 over 10. And 3 over 10 is said to be in its lowest form as no other factor can divide 3 and 10. Now, we have 3 whole number 2 over 5% to be written as a fraction. All you need to do is to first of all, okay, let's still follow the same method. This is said to be 3 whole number 2 over 5 divided by 100. So, this is equal to, I'm going to express the numerator as an improper fraction. And how do you convert 
from a mixed number to an improper fraction, you multiply the base by the, the denominator by the whole number and add the numerator. So this gives us, that gives us the new numerator. This is said to be 15 plus 2 is 17. So we have 17 divided by 5 or divided by 100 over 1. Okay, so when you simplify this, you now change the division sign to a multiplication sign. And when you do that, you have to invert the next term. So this is equal to 17 divided by 5 times 1 over 100. So this is equal to 17 divided by 500. As a fraction, this is said to be in its lowest term, as there is no factor that can divide 17 and 500. Kindly like my videos as you watch. What I recommend is subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so. Also, turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. You can also use the comment section to interact with me on areas that are still difficult for you to understand. Why we recommend that you share the link with your friends and families so that they can also benefit from our daily classes. We shall now take more exercises on complex percentages to fractions. We are asked to change the following to fractions, 55%. And I told you that 55% can be expressed as 55 divided by 100. Both of them are multiples of 5. So 5 can divide 55 and 100. 5 into 55 is 11 times. 5 into 10 is 2 times and into 0 is 0. This is equal to 11 divided by 20. And this is the lowest as no other factor can divide. 3.5%. 3.5% is expressed as 3.5 divided by 100. Now you express the, denominator, the numerator, which is 3.5, as, as an improper fraction. This becomes... 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1, which is 7 divided by 2, divided by 100 over 1, which can be written as 7 over 2 times 1 over 100. So when next I have a fraction, all I will do is just to multiply that fraction when converted to improper fraction by 1 over 100. So this is equal to 7 divided by 200. And I doubt if there's any common factor between 7 and 200. So this is your answer. Number 3. This is said to be 9 3 quarter divided by 100. This can be said to be equal to 9 3 quarter as an improper fraction. We have 4 times 3 is 36. 36 plus 3 is 39. So we have 39 over 4 times 1 over 100. This is equal to 39 divided by 400. And there is no common factor that can divide 39 and 400. 85% is said to be 85 over 100. And 5 can divide. 5 into 8 is 1 remainder 3. This becomes 35. 35 divided by 5 is 7. Remainder 0. 5 into 10 is 2 into 0 is 0. So the answer is said to be 17 over 20, as no other factor can reduce it further. 95% is equal to 95 divided by 100, and 5 can divide. 5 into 9 is 1 remainder 4. 5 into 49, 45 is 9 times, divided by 5 into 10 is 2 into 0 is 0. So 45% as a fraction can be said to be 19 divided by 20. Question 6. We have 7 whole number 2 over 5%. This can be expressed as 7 2 over 5 divided by 100, which is equal to you express the numerator as an improper fraction. 5 times 7 is 35 plus 2 is 37 divided by 5 times 1 over 100. 
which is equal to 37 divided by 500. And nothing else can simplify it further. So this is equal to 35 times 3 will give us 105. 105 plus 1 is 106. So this is 106 divided by 3 times 1 over 100, which is equal to 106 divided by 300. 2 can divide. 2 into 10 is 5. Remainder nothing. 2 into 3. 2 into 6 is 3 divided by 2 into 3 is 1 into 10 is 5 into 0 is 0. So we have 53 divided by 150 and nothing else can simplify this. 84% this is equal to 84 divided by 100 and when you reduce it to its lowest term this is equal to what can go 4 can divide 4 into 8 is 2 4 into 4 is 1 4 into 100 is said to be 25 so our answer is said to be equal to 21 over 25 as a fraction for question number 9 this is equal to 33 to third over 100 which is said to be equal to 33 times 3 is said to be 99 99 plus 2 is 101 101 divided by 3 times 1 divided by 100 so when you simplify this this is said to be equal to 101 divided by 3 and I doubt if there's any factor that can simplify this further. Question 10, we have 63 and a half percent. This is said to be 63 and a half divided by 100, which is equal to 63 and a half. When you convert it to improper fraction, it's said to be 63 times 2 is 126 plus 1. That is 127 divided by 2 times 1 over 100, this is equal to 127 divided by 200. And I doubt if there is any term that can divide both 127 and 200. Question number 11. This is 7 whole number, 5 over 6%. This can be written as 7, 5 over 6 divided by 100, which is equal to 7 times 6 is said to be 42. 42 plus 5, that will be 47. So you have it as 47 divided by 6 times 1 over 100, which is equal to 47 divided by 600. And this is your answer as fraction. Question 12, this is said to be 28 and a half divided by 100. Percentage means you have to divide by 100. This is equal to 28 times 2. That should be 56. 56 plus 1 is 57. So you have 57 divided by 2 times 1 over 100, which is equal to 57 divided by 200. So as a fraction, 28 and a half percent is equivalent to 57 over 200. Question 13. Question 13, we have 8 whole number 1 over 4 percent, which is 8 1 over 4 divided by 100. Expressing the numerator as an improper fraction, you have 8 times 4 is 32. 32 plus 1 is 33. So we have 33 divided by 4 times 1 over 100, which is equal to 33 divided by 400. And I doubt if there is any factor that can still reduce 33 and 400 to their lowest term. And we have question number 14 is said to be 37%, which is 37 divided by 100. 
and there is no factor that can reduce it to its lowest term. So I shall leave question number 15 for you to do as an assignment. Kindly you like my videos as you watch? Well, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so. Also, turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. You can also use the comment section to interact with me on areas that are still difficult for you to understand. I also recommend that you share the links with your friends and families so that they can also benefit from our daily classes. We shall now look at changing percentages to decimals. In order for you to express a percentage as decimals, you have to divide the percentage by 100. If it is a fraction, you have to divide that fraction until it gets to decimals. Okay? So I shall show you how to do this. Example 1, we are asked to change 18% to decimals. Now, 18%, we have already said in our previous classes, it means 18 divided by 100. Now, in conversion from fractions to percentages, where the denominator is said to be 100 and the decimal point is said to be after the last whole number, what you will do is, since you are dividing by 100, all you need to do is to move the decimal point two times to your left, okay, so that 18 divided by 100 can be reduced to be 1, 2, and this is said to be 0 0.18. So as decimals, 18% is said to be 0 0.18. Otherwise, you can say 18 divided by 100, reduce it to its lowest term. This is equal to 2 into 18 is 9. 2 into 100 gives you 50. What can go? Nothing else can go. So what you will do is to divide 9 by 100 by 50 using long division method. Now, in using long division method, this is what you will do. This is 9 divided by 50. 50 into 9, it cannot, you write down 0, add a point, and add a 0 to this. This becomes 90. 50 into 90 is said to be 1. 1 times 50 is said to be 50. You subtract. This becomes 40. 50 into 40, you cannot, you add a you add the zero, and this gives you 400. 50 into 400 is said to be 8. And 8 times 50 gives you 400. When you subtract, it gives you 0, 0, 0. So that 90 divided by 50, or 9 divided by 50, is said to be 0 0.18, which is same thing as what I got at this point. So you discover that it is easier for you to move the decimal point than for you to use the long division method. Kindly like my videos as you watch. While I recommend that you subscribe to my channels if you are yet to do so. Also, turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. You can also use the comment section to interact with me on areas that are still difficult for you to understand. You also re recommended to share the links with your friends and families so that they can also benefit from our project. We shall now take example two. In example two, we are to change 75% to decimals. So 75% is said to be equal to 75 divided by 100. And this is equal to, you move the decimal point two times to your left, and that gives you 0 0.75. So as decimals, 75% is said to be equivalent to 0.75%. Let's take another example. Example three, you are to change 25 and a half percent to decimals. So we have it at 25 and a half percent is equal to 25 and a half divided by 100. And this is equal to 25 times 2 is said to be 50 plus 1 is 51. So I have 51 over 2 times 1 over 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide 51 by 2. 
already i know that this is equal to 25.5 so 25.5 divided by 100 ordinarily i could have done it from here that is 25 and a half half means 0 0.5 so 25 plus 0 0.5 gives you 25.5 to divide by 100 you also move the decimal point two times to your left that becomes one two so that this is said to be 0 0.255 so 25 and a half percent is said to be 0 0.255 in decimals example four we are asked to change 65 whole number 1 over 8 percent to decimals so this is said to be equal to 65 plus 1 over 8 divided by 100 this is equal to 65 plus 1 divided by 8 using your long division 1 divided by 8 8 into 1 you cannot you write down 0 and add 0 to this this becomes 10 8 into 10 is said to be 1 1 times 8 is 8 when you subtract it gives you 2 add 0 and divide by 8 8 into 20 is said to be 2 2 times 8 is 16 subtract this gives us 0 4 add 0 to this this becomes 40 40 divided by 8 is said to be 5 and when you multiply it gives you 40 this is what you get so it therefore means that 1 over 8 is said to be 0 0.125 so i'm going to add this to plus 125 divide by 100 so this is equal to 65 point okay sorry 65.125 divided by 100 so you now move the decimal point two times to your left as usual and this is said to be equal to 0 0.65125 as your answer we shall now take more exercises on changing percentages to decimals in this exercise we shall be changing percentages to decimals so 90 percent we are asked to change to decimals is equal to 90 divided by 100 and this is equal to when you move the decimal point two times it gives you 0 0.9 you can do away with the last zero so this is 0 0.9 as it's not significant question two two and a half two and a half can be said to be two and a half over 100 which is equal to half is 0 0.5 so we have 2.5 divided by 100 and this is said to be when you move it two times it gives you one two you add a zero here and put your point so this is said to be 0 0.025 as your answer question three this is equal to 31 one quarter divided by a hundred this is equal to 31 plus one quarter is said to be 0 0.25 how did i get that one divided by four four into itself is one four into one you cannot you write down zero add your point and add zero to this this becomes 10 four into 10 is two a remainder one two remainder two sorry add zero and divide by four it gives you five so one quarter is said to be 0 0.25 so this is 31 plus 0 0.25 divided by 100 which is equal to 31.25 divided by 100 moving the decimal point two times to the left gives us 0 0.312 five as our answer 110 percent can be said to be equal to 110 divided by 100 this is equal to move the decimal point two times this gives us 1.1 as our answer question five this is equal to 38 
plus 2 over 3 divide by 100 this is equal to 38 plus 2 divided by 3 is equal to 23 cannot 0 point add 0 to this it becomes 20 3 into 20 is 6 times remainder 2 add 0 and divide by 3 again give you 6 times remainder 2 add 0 it gives you 6 so when it gets to this point where you have reoccurring decimals you can approximate it so instead of we writing 0 0.6666666 till the kingdom come we can approximate it to three places of decimal by saying this is 0 0.667 approximately so this is plus 0 0.667 divide by 100 this is equal to 38.667 divided by 100. So 38, 2 over 3 percent can be said to be 0 0.38667 in decimals. Question 6, we have 5 over 8 percent. This is said to be 5 over 8 times 1 over 100. So you can also find the fraction 5 over 8. 5 over 8 can be gotten to be 0. Point, add 0. This is 50. 50 divided by 8 gives you 5 times or 6 times remainder 2. For 60, 6 times 8 is 48. So it's remainder 2. Add 0 to it and divide by 8. 60, 20 divided by 8 is 2. Remainder 4, because 2 times 8 is 16. The difference between 16 and 20 is 4. Add 0 to it becomes 40. 40 divided by 8 is 5. So this is said to be 0 0.625. So we have it to be 0 0.625 divided by 100. And when you move the decimal point two times to your left, it gives us 0 0.00625. In question seven, we are asked to express seven whole number three over four as a decimal so this is equal to seven three quarter divided by a hundred so this is equal to seven plus three over four divided by a hundred this can be said to be equal to seven plus you know convert three quarter as a decimal three quarter in decimal is said to be zero point seven five you can confirm that divide by a hundred this is equal to 7.75 divide by a hundred which is equal to you move the decimal point two times to your left you will get 0 0.0775 as a fraction question number eight we have 15 whole number two over five so this can be said to be 15 plus 2 over 5 divided by 100 this is equal to 15 plus 2 divided by 5 is said to be 0 0.4 you can also confirm so 0 0.4 divided by 100 this is equal to 15.4 divided by 100 which is equal to 0 0.154 as a decimal question 9 is said to be equal to 3 whole number 7 over 8 divided by 100 this is equal to 3 plus 7 divided by 8 let's write it as a decimal this is equal to 8 into 7 cannot you write down 0 add your point and add the 0 to it this becomes 70 70 divided by 8 is said to be six times is it to be eight for eight times eight is 
64. So you have 8 times remainder 6. Add 0 to that, it becomes 60. 60 divided by 8 is said to be 60 times 7, that would be 50, 56. So this becomes 7, 56, a remainder 4. Add 0 to it, it becomes 40. 40 divided by 8 is said to be 5. So 7 over 8 can be said to be 0 0.875 divided by 100. This is equal to 3.875 divided by 100. So when you simplify further, this is said to be 0 0.0375. As your answer question 10 will be left for you as an assignment kindly solve question 10 and let me have the answer down there at the comment section kindly like our videos as you watch while i recommend that you subscribe to my channel if you're yet to do so also turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded you can also use the comment section to interact with me on areas that are still difficult for you to understand I also recommend that you share the link with your friends and families so that they can also benefit from our daily classes. That brings us to the end of today's class. In today's class, we have been able to look at changing percentages to fractions and decimals. Thank you for being part of this class. See you in our next class where we shall take another subheading. Have a nice day.